The Potteries Electric Traction Company operated a tramway service in the Potteries between 1899 and 1928. Topic History British Electric Traction incorporated a new company on the 27th of June 1898 called the Potteries Electric Traction Company. Its purpose was to extend the existing tramway through the towns of the Potteries. It acquired the North Staffordshire Tramways Company Limited and arranged to take over the Longton Corporation Tramways. Construction was awarded to Dick, Kerr & Co., and the overhead work was awarded to R. W. Blackwell & Company. The coal-fired power station was constructed by Brush Electrical Engineering Company at the depot at Woodhouse Street, Stoke. Later a second station was opened at May Bank. On 16 May 1899 the first electric trams ran from Stoke to Longton. By 1902, the company had a fleet of 105 trams and carried 14,438,048 passengers. By 1904 the system had expanded to 32 miles of route. Topic Fleet One to seventeen brush single deck cars, eighteen ninety eight, eighteen to twenty seven brush single deck trailers, eighteen ninety eight, twenty eight to forty brush single deck cars, eighteen ninety nine. 41 to 70 electric railway and tramway carriage works 1900 car 50 outside Redlian public house Stoke 71 to 85 Midland railway carriage and wagon company 1900 picture of car 80 at Maybank tram depot 86 to 106 brush 1901 99 100 and 106 transferred to Barrow in Furnace Tramways 190405 99 to 100 second hand cars from Middleton Electric Traction Company 107 works car 108 open railway type car 109 to 112 parcels trailers 113 to 117 brush 1906 118 to 119 second hand cars from Middleton Electric Traction Company 120 121 to 123 three second hand cars 1920 from Sheffield Corporation Tramways Sheffield 58 122 and 123 124 modified iron tip wagon 1922 125 second hand car from the Dudley, Stourbridge and District Electric Traction Company. Topic: <laughs> Accidents. Trams were relatively safe although there were accidents. In 1923, a runaway tram was destroyed in an accident on Hearts Hill Bank, the steepest gradient on the system, and 18 passengers were injured. A year later, a driver was fatally injured in an accident at the Granville level crossings in Cobridge. Topic: <laughs> Depot As with all tram systems, the Pet Company had a number of tram depots located at the end of each line. Pet had depots located at Chesterton, Fenton, Golden Hill, Stoke, Maybank. Topic: <laughs> Closure. 
The system closed in 1928. The Red Lion public house which for years stood outside the tramway depot in Stoke-on-Trent, is now relocated to the National Tramway Museum. Topic: Possible reintroduction. It has been proposed as part of the Transforming Cities Fund that Stoke-on-Trent could get a tramway once again for the first time in 90 years. <laughs> <laughs> 